As we continue along with the show, before the big show and Eric Rowan match, there was a backstage segment with Seth Rollins, Joey Mercury, and Jamie Noble. Uh, basically talking about how Seth Rollins guaranteed a victory against John Cena tonight at the tables match. Basically saying that he, he felt Triple H and Stephanie were sitting at home watching the pay-per-view on the WWE Network when they should be sitting there in the arena still controlling WWE. And basically, he felt that a win over John Cena was going to be one step closer to bringing them back. He also made a point to call out Sting uh, as being a guy who stole uh, Survivor Series. I apologize, Survivor Series away from him and him not being able to be there. Seth Rollins said that he had searched for Sting and hadn't been able to find him. I guess that's just saying that basically Sting wasn't going to show up in his match tonight. I'm not 100% sure if they're pointing the directions towards uh, Sting and uh, Seth Rollins match. I, I think every everybody thinks that they're maybe going towards uh, Sting and uh, Triple H at WrestleMania. Seth Rollins would be a little bit of a stretch and a little bit of a weird match, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it could be today against tomorrow. Maybe when it turns out, maybe we'll find out that Seth Rollins is a huge Sting fan, and maybe this is a match that he would want, and maybe WWE is putting stock in him to be able to carry uh, Sting to a great match, and maybe this, there still are plans for Triple H to have a match against somebody like The Rock, or maybe Triple H versus John Cena, or... Um, any other sort of uh, match that could be thrown out there along the way. Uh, tonight I'm enjoying, uh, I guess I have Pepsi. And I had some chicken uh, strips. I already ate those. I'm eating some cookies. You can't tell from that side, but they're uh, different colors. I've got pink and white there. Rolled through some sprinkles. Uh, my girls, my wife, and my two babies, uh, they made those for me today. So I'm enjoying those. They, uh, they knew that I was going to be coming home and watching the show, staying up late. It's already later than it should be, 11 o'clock. Uh, here we are. Big Show versus Eric Rowan in the stairs match. Honestly, in my mind, very dull, very slow uh, match. Uh, both of these guys are going to come away with injuries. Uh, it looked like Aaron Rowan injured his groin. It looked like uh, on on a spot where Eric Rowan came off the top rope uh, holding some uh, steel stairs and he was going to jam them into the Big Show. The Big Show went to move but basically didn't get out of the way in time. And it looked like the, the steel stairs came right down on Big Show's hip. Uh, easily could be uh, some, some sort of an injury that nags him. Big Show is the kind of guy that works through all the pain. Real old timer. So um, I, I wouldn't really be looking forward to uh, Big Show missing any time um, and uh, more than likely we'll be seeing him on Monday Night Raw sooner than later but definitely it was a bad shot uh, a lot of things with the uh, the ring steps as there was like a lot of ladders out there for the ladder match early on in the night there was probably at least a dozen sets of the ring steps that they claimed to weigh over 200 pounds a piece but Big Show and Eric Rowan were able to lift them with ease sometimes throwing them sometimes running into each other sometimes hitting people with them um, basically at one point Eric Rowan built a big huge huge wall of the stairs, basically stacking them on top of each other using their pyramid sort of shape to sort of intertwine them to basically they would make a wall at one point. Big Show was able to spear Eric Rowan through the wall, which basically looked like it hurt more on the fall down than the, the, uh, the going through it. Both of these guys uh, came up slow after this one spot. Um, it was a triple combo from the Big Show in order to win this match, where basically um, Big Show nailed uh, Eric Rowan, uh, basically uh, with a choke slam on top of the stair. Uh, then he hit him right after that with a knockout punch. Uh, and as Big Show went to go lay down on him, he, he got some idea in his mind where basically he got off of the uh, the pinfall before the referee even counted one grabbed a set of steel steps used the um the v in them much like when uh the, the wyatt family held down a uh, cane and uh took him out at uh summer 2013 uh basically pinned eric rowan using the steel steps where he wouldn't be able to kick out eric rowan immediately after the steel steps held his balls big time you can tell that there's some sort of a uh a uh, groin injury there, and we'll see where we go from there. Uh, not sure what match is next, but that's the one we're going to, and I'll see you on later down.